kitchen. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Brim. I've just got myself a new computer and I want to do unbox it but just run through the specs of what I've got. Now my old computer has been running at its maximum capacity for quite a while now. Uh, with editing high definition video, I've really been pushing it to its absolute limits. Uh, but you know, Eventually something had to give and it was just getting too hard and taking too long to render and so new computer. Now what did I get? I, I went into a local computer store uh, which I buy a lot of gear from and uh, they, they didn't have the one that I wanted. Now I researched online for the best one for editing high definition video and uh, no, they didn't have it in stock. They knew about it, they had it on the computer, but they had to order it in specifically for me. So what have I got in here? Now first up, I've gone with a, an Intel i7 core processor, a 3770 at 3.4 gigahertz. Uh, pretty good processor. Uh, if you look at a list of processors, uh, at the moment it's about 20th on the list of fastest processors. If you start going up the list to 19 and etc, by the time you get up that list the price just doubles and doubles uh, to ridiculous prices that you just couldn't, you couldn't pay. Uh, well you could if you were professionally uh, doing this but for someone that is doing this as an as a amateur uh, I think this is this is a great computer, um, and uh, memory at the moment it's got eight gigabyte of RAM. Uh, I think that I will probably end up doubling that at least. Uh, what have we also got? Uh, it's got a, it's got four slots for for RAM, so we'll probably end up being able to put in. At least, at least six. Oh, at the moment, it's got two, four gigabyte um, chips in there, so I'll be able to put two extras in and bring that up to sixteen. But if down the track I want to upgrade, I can take them all out and put bigger ones in. Uh, at the moment, this has a one point five terabyte hard drive in it, which I will eventually use just as my C drive for uh, operating system. And I will put in a three terabyte uh, drive as well for keeping uh, all my videos and stuff on there. Uh, it has a Blu-ray multi burner. Uh, what else has it got? It's got a NVIDIA GeForce GT 630 uh, video card. That's two gigabyte card. Uh, it has two USB 3 ports eight USB 2 ports, uh, all your usual stuff, keyboard, mouse, etc. Keyboard and mouse are both wireless, so that's pretty good. Uh, it also has, it's got a 15 in one memory card reader. Look, I don't know, I don't really use that. Uh, maybe I will if it's a little bit faster now. Uh, maybe the transfer of information from the card, you know, I might be able to take the card out of the camera and put it directly into the computer. Could, if it's faster, I might use it. Uh, but at the moment, I actually normally transfer direct from the camera to the computer. Uh, it's got a TV tuner in it. Uh, it's also got a PVR, so I can actually record stuff off the TV. Uh, don't know if I'll use that, probably will. It comes with a remote control. Uh, what else? Uh, all the stuff that matters, it's got speakers, it's great. Um, that's about it. Uh, it comes with Windows 7 Home Premium 64. Uh, look, we're so close to Windows 8 coming up that they've given me a little voucher and I just, when Windows 8 does come out, all I've got to do is go online and pay about $14 and they'll actually send me a copy of Windows 8 as well. So that's pretty good. 
So I'm really excited about this. I'm just gonna open, open it up and have a look at it. Uh, and I can't wait to see what difference this makes to my video editing. I think one of the biggest things it's gonna do for me is speed up the time that I spend waiting for the computer to do things. Now that's the biggest killer for me. Uh, you want, it can be difficult actually watching video as you're editing because it tends to be a bit laggy and, and that's a problem that sometimes it's hard to tell uh, if it's actually working, that that's particular scenes working for you or not. Uh, so I tend to render the video. Uh, sometimes when I've rendered it I realise, you know, then I know what I've done wrong and I have to uh, you know, go back, edit again, and then re-render again. And sometimes I can end up actually, you know, re-rendering a track several times. Uh, the length of time that it takes rendering is just, it's ridiculous, really. You know, we didn't know this was a problem before high definition, but now you know, we've moved on. So I really have high hopes that this is going to speed up the amount of time it takes me to produce a video. So let's see what happens with that, and you guys will be the judge of um, you know how well uh, you know that's performing. I, I think that because it won't take me as much time to uh, create a video, I'll spend more time probably in the um, e editing and creating special effects and that sort of thing, and uh, you know putting more time into the video itself rather than time in waiting and, and that sort of thing. So I think that'll be good. All right, let's open it up and see what we get. Okay, this looks like a mouse. Wireless mouse, excellent. And wireless keyboard. Nice, that looks pretty good. Very similar to the old Hewlett Packard keyboard. A bunch of stuff in a bag here. I have no idea what that is. What does that say? Uh, an IR blaster cable. Something to do with the remote control, so we'll work out what it is later. Power cord. Sticker. Remote control and batteries. Now this this is a first. I've never had a remote control for a computer before, um, but that looks very interesting. So I'm going to have to work out what that does, or what's special about it anyway. Uh, there's an adapter to for the monitor. Now I, what I'll be using with this, I I haven't got a monitor with it, and what I'll be doing is uh, temporarily I'll be using an, an old monitor that I have. But what I'll be doing down the track is I'll be buying a new high definition TV, a flat screen TV, and I'll be using that as the monitor uh, with a HDMI lead. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, one of the benefits of having a full HD TV when you're editing full HD video is that what's on the screen is going to be what I get. So what you see is what you get. It's, it's really exciting. Uh, some other little adapter, no idea. Don't think I'll be using that. A, another lead that plugs in. I don't know, it doesn't say, say what it is, but it looks like it's some sort of oh, so receiver for whatever the other end of this. So, sender, receiver. I'll have to see what that does later on. Instruction book. Awesome piece of foam. And let's get this out. Now this is the first time I'm seeing first time I'm seeing this as well, so camera so we can get in and have a closer look at this. Okay, so what I'm looking at is this is a really sleek nice looking 
Look at the unit. We've got a door that goes up and down. What have we got in there? Uh, got four USB ports right here. That's the card reader. Uh, DVD Blu-ray player here. Uh, expansion bay. I don't think it. Oh, okay. That opens up. Ah, so that's the Blu-ray player in there. Nothing else there. On-off switch at the top. And uh, nice. And there is two USB 3 ports right here in the back. So it's interesting the way that it's laid out, which is quite quite good. You can actually sit a drive here on the top of the computer and do your USB 3 lead uh, directly in. So that's good. Microphone here. Speaker there. Let's have a look at the back. Uh, what? I don't think there's anything too much to, to see on the back, but all your usual bits and pieces. It has a optical audio out on the uh, the back the back down here. So hold that up. So it has an optical an optical output there. So that means if I want to uh, use this in conjunction with a uh, surround sound system I can actually get the digital audio out of here and put it directly into my receiver so I get some really really high quality sound out of it um, some more USB ports here um, it looks to me like this is also USB 3 here on the back so yeah the, the start say two ports but uh, it actually looks like there's four, which is interesting. Uh, all your usual inputs, uh, etc. This is your TV uh, card in input here. Uh, some some sound out, and it also somewhere must have a HDMI output. Ah, here we are. Here's a HDMI output, which which I intend to use. That that's just going to be one of the best features there. So that's it uh, for the moment and just have to keep watching to see what I can come up with it. I'm really excited, can't wait to get going with it. Thanks for watching.